Hello, my name is Ron Castle, and I'm the CEO of Community Health Centers, and it's been my good fortune and pleasure to be in that uh, role of CEO for 44 years. And I'm very happy to say that it's been a very exciting career. And I really got into healthcare because of my own experience as a youth. I grew up in the community of Boron and Mojave. And uh, those communities uh, back in the day did not have healthcare and healthcare providers. So if uh, you got ill or injured, it was a 65 mile drive one way to the city of Lancaster where there was a hospital and doctor's offices and that sort of thing. Those kind of situations where you do get injured, you remember them and you remember family members who didn't get the health care that they should have. In my family, my mother and father both died at a very early age and I, I felt in great part it was because they did not have access to what we would say is access to primary care and you know affordable uh, services so i just grew up always thinking you know i would like to make a difference in this regard and help people obtain the health care that they need i was fortunate that my family had quite a few uh, health care providers uh, they had uh, a <clears throat> so it was for me to think about going to medical school, uh, do do exactly that, I, it was it was just the, the natural for me to think about. I didn't think I wanted to be a, an engineer or a mechanical, uh, you know, talent. But uh, I believe that uh, what I felt that like from the beginning, I felt like medicine was for me. I chose healthcare because I needed a new career path. I wanted something that would allow me to spend more time with my family. Um, but I really wanted to do something that had meaning and that would touch people's lives. I was very fortunate to see a job notice uh, in the LA Times. They, they were interviewing for a CEO for a new clinic that was starting here in Napomo. And um, I applied and basically got invited to the interview. Found out then that this was really a unique situation. Uh, a county clinic uh, had operated since 1964, serving primarily migrant farm workers. They were uh, transitioning to a nonprofit corporation, and uh, that corporation was looking for a new, its first CEO. So anyway, I, I got the job. And that's when I really fell in love with community health centers because it gave me the opportunity to work with uh, community board members over the years. We were not very bureaucratic. We were basically able to uh, develop our own plans. Uh, we, we decided very early that we needed to provide, uh, get a new building because the building we were in was a converted house. Uh, since I finished my medical assistant program, uh, I applied there for my internship at Nipomo Community Medical Center. I applied to several centers and I got accepted at the, at the Nipomo Clinic and I picked that one because that's where we were patients at and I liked the clinic. I liked the, how the staff treated our family and I really wanted to work there and learn and grow and um, after my internship was done, I got hired a few months later by uh, Mary and Sofia Sosa. Uh, yes, I used to work in retail pharmacy. I was a pharmacy technician before I went to pharmacy school, and then I also worked as a pharmacist in the local area. It's very different working in the retail world. I think um, working for CHC, they definitely put like patient safety, satisfaction, and care uh, before money and when you're working for a retail outlet it's all about like profit and getting as many scripts as you can out the door. The meaning that I get from the job that I do is that 
I want CHC to flourish and that I want to see CHC have financial stability. That way, CHC can fulfill its mission and vision to the community, especially the patient population that we serve. One of the things I've really, really loved within the company that I've been able to do is when we've gone out to like the fields and been able to help you know the field workers and you know just give them the information that they need because sometimes they have something going on they don't want to say what's going on and I feel like that to me being able to provide that information to our patients just makes me feel like oh my gosh this is why I'm here like I'm able to help these people who are struggling who you know can't get through or you know vice versa or just explaining something to them or when they come in and they don't understand your language because you know they talk an indigenous language so being able to like provide those services for them and being able to like hey let me call somebody that can help you I can you know translate over the phone and so just those type of things that I'm able to do I think is what makes me really enthusiastic about working here. It starts with your foundation. Um, it starts with us just um, being open-minded and understanding the patients and where they're coming from, their backgrounds, um, and not being, you know, judgmental. Just we're here to serve them and do our job. So, I we build relationships with these patients. We're in this small community of Lompoc. We see these patients out on the streets when we're with our families. So we build these bonds when they're here. So it's important to understand them and not just always look at them as a patient, but knowing that we are the reason why they're feeling better, we're the reason why they're happier, and we're the reason why they want to come back and actually get the health care that they need to help them live longer. So at the end of the day, I think patient satisfaction is just important. I want them happy, and overall, if they're happy, we're doing our job. Uh, I think, uh, <clears throat> looking back, from the beginning, I think uh, uh, the Pobo Central uh, Coast uh, went through a lot of trials and tribulations at the beginning. But uh, I think uh, eventually, I think I can believe that uh, the Pobo is a real success story. How I would describe CHC would be compassionate and visionary. With one word, compassion. Altruistic, compassionate, um, CHC definitely puts its patient safety, satisfaction first caring. I feel like we all as an organization care for our patients. We always put our patients first and I think that's how it should always be. Our patients care comes first. If I were to choose one word to describe CHC I would say family. If I had to sum up CHC in one word I would say family and no I would say strong family. One of the reasons that this job has been so rewarding is I've had a chance to work with a wonderful board of directors over many years who've given me the uh, flexibility and given me the uh, freedom and also the direction to uh, take the risks and the opportunities to develop a system that um, is probably the third or fourth largest in the state and uh, we have been able to attract wonderful healthcare providers of every stripe, race, religion, culture. They all come together and uh, we all ha have one thing in common, that we feel like we are a blessed organization and our common thread is we care about people and we care to make a difference in this world. And so anyone there that is um, uh, listening to this little video, please know that I did not do this myself. This has been a, a collective effort. And as I said, we as an organization feel extremely blessed and we take our responsibilities seriously. Dr. Dorr has since passed away, but um, He's been replaced with other healthcare providers who have that same mission and that same commitment. And I know that in the years ahead, we will continue to make Dr. Doerr and the community proud of the services we provide. So thank you for listening to this.